Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. It is nearly Valentine's Day and I had a request from one of my email subscribers to come up with a craft that's something fun for dogs to enjoy for Valentine's Day. Now I love making dog themed craft projects so this was definitely a challenge that I was going to take on. I thought about making a toy that you could sew for your dogs but I don't know how to sew and it seemed like a little bit of a challenge to learn how to do that just for this video so I've come up with something different instead and here it is. Now it might not look very much but this is a really fun interactive game for your dog and it contains treats. So this is a very special box and inside are three smaller boxes all filled with treats. Now my dogs are Shih Tzu so they're very small so this is a perfect sized game for them to play with. If you've got larger dogs then this might be a little on the small side, you don't want to risk them um, swallowing any of the bits of cardboard when they tear it apart. So if you've got big dogs you might be better off instead of making this with your Cricut um, just get some old packaging boxes of different sizes, put some treats in there and then stack them one inside the other and that way your dog's got something bigger that they can tear apart and have fun with that's more appropriate to their size. But for my little doggies this is going to be some awesome playtime for them. Now of course they're not going to know the difference between an old Amazon box or this which I took an hour putting together but it's really more about me knowing that I'm giving them something that I have put my love into and that they will love too, even though that love will be very brief as they tear it apart. So let's have a look at what's inside. I've put some tissue paper in the top so that they can tear it all apart to get to those treats. And then inside the tissue paper, there are three separate boxes. So there's two of these little pillow boxes can hear the treats inside and then there's also one of these so it's a pyramid box it's all sealed up so they have to rip it open to get at those treats inside so I know my dogs are gonna love this and I hope yours do too just remember if you make this for your dogs be sure to supervise them at all times when they're playing with the box and um, make sure that when they're finished just take everything away don't leave it out for them because you don't want them chewing up the cardboard and um, swallowing it okay so let's head on over to design space and I'll show you how to cut everything out for this project here's the design space project that I've created for this dog treat box I've shared the link to the Design Space project with members of the Crafters Sarah Clubhouse. If you are not a member but you would like to be, then check out the link in the description of this video to find out more. But if you're not, then um, don't worry because this is fairly easy to put together yourself in Design Space. All of these box templates are from Cricut Access, so you can just go into Images and search for Box. And then there's loads of different templates in here so you can choose whichever size boxes you want to make. So when you've chosen your boxes or when you've opened up my project if you're in the clubhouse then um, just click make it, cut everything out with your Cricut. One thing I will know is that this white square here is um, to go over the gap in the top of the box and you should cut that out of acetate so it should be transparent so that your doggy can see inside so that if you put any little treats in there they can see them straight away which might help encourage them to start tearing open the box to get the fun food inside. So here are all my pieces cut out and ready to stick together and I've also got some tissue paper which I'm going to put in the box as well just to make it a little bit harder to get the uh, little treat boxes out. I'm going to start by assembling the main box so let's put these pieces to the side for now and then for the main box there is the top which is the bit that's got the hole cut out of it and then we cut a piece of acetate to go over the hole so I'll put those to one side for a moment and first I will stick together the base of the box which is this one. So I've cut it out from this cute Daxon paper. I'm going to turn it upside down and then fold all of the score lines inwards. So I'm just going to go down each one and fold them up. Remember this is the bottom of my paper that I'm looking at. So this will be the inside of the box. Just go 
get all of these folded. Okay, so now those are folded, I can stick the box together. So how it's going to work is we're going to pick the sides up and then put some double-sided tape on the flaps to join the other sides together like this to form the box. So I've got my double-sided tape runner. This is amazing. It is the Easy Runner Grand and it is my favourite way to put double-sided tape on things. So I'll put a link to this in the description. It really, really is good. Um, and what I like about it is that the tape is refillable so you don't need to buy a whole new tool every time it runs out you can just buy the tape to go in it looking at it I might need to do that soon <laughs> so I'm going to fold down this edge and then I've got the tab here in fact actually it might be easier to turn it the right way up and then on the tabs I'm going to put some tape I'm putting quite a lot so that this goes together nice and sturdy. So I can turn it over again and I'm going to lift up the edges that don't have the tabs on and stick them along the score lines of the tabs that we've just put the double sided tape on and that's going to bring these sides up to make the box and then just put your fingers inside it to make sure it's all really well stuck down and then the same on this side okay so that's the base of our box all done let's do the lid So here's my lid, this is my top side with this pattern on it, so I'm going to turn it upside down and then I've got a piece of acetate which I'm going to put along the gap. Now you could glue it or use tape, I prefer to use tape for this project rather than glue because I don't want my dog to accidentally um, swallow any of the glue. I think it's a little bit safer to do it with tape but of course it's completely up to you, you know what your dog is likely to do with this once they've got it. Obviously once they're chewing it up keep an eye on the acetate and if it pops off just make sure you remove it so that your dog doesn't chew it or um, catch themselves on any of the edges because it can be a bit sharp. That's the acetate and now we can assemble the lid. So just like we did before I'm going to fold all of the score lines on this side up towards me. Okay, so now I've got all of those scored. To show you how it's going to put together, we're going to put tape, double-sided tape, on the front side of these tabs again, and then fold up and stick them in, just like we did before to create the walls. But this time, for an extra bit of stability, once we've tucked the tabs in, there's an extra flap which you'll be able to fold down. Let's just try and show you. Fold down over the top and that hides those tabs inside and just gives you that extra stableness on the, um, the sides. So let's turn this the right way round and then I'm going to add some tape to all of the flaps. Turn it upside down again and then I'm just going to, to start with, I'm just going to stick the tabs. So I am just lifting up each side and sticking it to the tab on the side next to it. The last one gets a bit tricky so you might want to tuck it in before you stick that third side down. There we go, I'm just going to put my fingers inside to make sure that's all nicely stuck. And now it's time to do the edge bits. And actually it would have been easier if I'd have put the tape on these before I'd stuck it together. 
could be a bit tricky now, but uh, let's give it a go. It doesn't need an awful lot of tape on these, so it's not too bad, but yeah, this would have been easier to do before I stuck it. Right, there we are. I've managed to tape my work surface. That wasn't overly clever. But now that's got some tape on it, I'm just going to fold down each one and stick it inside so that it makes a nice little overlap onto the lid. There. So now, hopefully, my lid will fit on the box. So here is our box all put together and although I am going to be giving this to my dogs to tear up into tiny pieces it would also be really nice just as a general gift box um, to give to someone if you bought them a present. Let's move on to the triangle box. Now it's actually been a couple of weeks since I cut this out and I'm struggling a little bit to remember how it goes together so you might have to bear with me a little bit on this one. The first thing I'm going to do is turn the pieces upside down and fold up all of the score lines. So I think the easiest way to work out how these two pieces connect is to take the piece with the three triangles and just bend those triangles in and then you'll have space left. So this is going to be a four sided triangle. So we've got one, two, three, and then there'll be space for the fourth one here. So that's going to have to sit like that, and then the square will fold along the bottom to make the base. So I need to stick this tab here on the um, piece of the three triangles to the back of the triangle without a tab on the other piece. Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> I put some tape on there and then I'm going to line this triangle up along the score line of the other piece and push down and now those are connected. So I'm just going to fold this up to check that we're good and we are. So let's carry on. We're going to need to stick all these tabs in on themselves. So to start with, I'm going to do this tab down here. So I'll put some tape on. And then this is going to stick to the last remaining triangle edge that doesn't have a tab on. Actually, there's two without a tab on, but the one kind of opposite it. I'm going to fold that down and stick it nice and firmly along that score line. Next I'm going to add some tape to these tabs along the bottom. Again this would have been easier to do before I started sticking it. And whilst I'm here I will also do this tab. I'm just checking what side and again this goes on the top side. I'm going to add quite a bit to that one. Alright, so let's fold those in. And now before I stick all these sides together, I want to put some treats inside this box. Now my dog is sat by my feet and I know as soon as I touch this bag, he's going to wake up. Okay, let's grab a couple of these put them in the box and now I can fold it down stick it along these two tabs and I've got my finger inside it just to try and get that stuck nice and firmly and then the one remaining tab would just fold into the bottom as well Here we go. Now this is a bit tricky trying to get all of these tabs to stick. So just pinch it a little bit 
to try and get the sides of the paper to all get stuck by that double-sided tape. I think that's done a pretty good job. You can hear the treats inside. So that's ready to go inside the box as our little centerpiece. And now we can move on to the two pillow boxes. So I've turned these upside down and I'm just going to fold up on the score lines along the long edges and then the circular score lines. I'm just bending up a little bit to make it easier but don't bend it all the way. Don't try and fold it because it will go out of... Um, you see like here I've, I've put a fold line because I bent it a bit too aggressively. Okay, so I'm going to put some tape along that long tab, fold it down and stick it to the other side. And I'm kind of bending the card out a little bit so that it's not completely flat. I want this to look a bit like an envelope with a pocket so you can see I've got a little bit of space in there. So when you hold it, it should sort of stand up by itself. It looks a bit like a squidged toilet roll <laughs> at the moment. So now one of these sides I'm going to push down. So normally you'd put the one with the tab on the top so that it's easier to open, but I don't want to make this easy to open for my dogs. So I'm going to do it the other way around. And you just push those down and it will close the box. And then on the other side, add your treats. and then push it down to close. Now for these boxes, because the closing is a little bit easy to open, I'm gonna put some washi tape on here because I like making things more difficult for my little dogs. The reason I like washi tape is that it's paper-based rather than normal sticky tape, which is plasticky. So again, I think this is just a bit of a safer option. Let's take some washi tape. And I'm just going to stick it on, seal those edges, and wrap it all the way around. And then hopefully I can get it to join up again at the same point so it's nice and pretty. Not that the dogs will care that it's pretty, but I do. That is really cute. And now there's just one more to do exactly the same. So I'm going to fold up the vertical lines. This time I might try not pre-folding the edges and see if that makes it any better. And tape down there. Stick it together with a little bit of a fold in there so it's not just flat. There we are, and let's see if this is easier. Oh, it is actually, this is kind of better without pre-doing these folds. That's much neater. There we are. So now, before you close it up completely, add your treats, and then just push down to close that one and again I'm going to add some washi tape okay so now it's time to put everything together so I'm going to start with some tissue paper I'm going to put this in the bottom and then fit the pyramid in, there we go, 
and I think I might just put another couple of little treats around there so when they're digging it up they'll get those falling out and then let's put the pillow boxes in two and then just seal all this tissue paper in like that put the lid on and there we have it our little treat field interactive dog toy now if you wanted to make it a little bit harder because these lids will come off fairly easily then you can add some washi tape all the way around the edges where the lid meets the box. Here is the box that I've made for my other dogs that they both have one and I've already washi taped this one so I put two rows of washi tape along the lid and now it is completely secure, it won't pull apart so dogs really going to have to destroy this if they want to get all the food out. So let's go and give it to them and see what they think of it. Yay! <laughs>